Hello Zebra Herd and welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And today we are moving on to World 9, the bonus world. We talked about it a little bit at the end of last episode when we completed the main game. But for every star coin we get, or at least every world worth of star coins we get, we unlock another level in World 9. That's why there are eight different levels in this world. So we're gonna be going through every single one and getting all three star coins to 100% complete the game, except for everything we'll be showcasing in the bonus episode. So there there are no secret exits, anything crazy going on. It's just really tough levels and three star coins to get in every single one. So you would maybe imagine that each world would be representative of a world, or at least each level would be representative of a world in the game. And you would be right, but it's not in linear order. I think it's actually more in order of difficulty than anything else. But yeah, that's sort of the idea you're gonna be looking for here, is that this is obviously a level based off of World 7. The thing is, it's not in linear order. Order 9-1 is not based off of World 1, but you do need to get every star coins in World 1 to unlock it. So it does get a little bit weird, but I think we'll be able to work with it just fine. Now, if I remember correctly, these levels can be really, really difficult. Oh gosh, there we go. And all I have to worry about is the star coins, so I'll try to be careful where I can so I don't get hit unnecessarily or uh, miss any of the star coins, but I think that as long as I can just have a good memory of where most of the star coins are, or at least be diligent enough to find them, hopefully things won't be too bad. There are a couple levels I'm sort of dreading going against, but we'll run into them when we do. Right now, I might have to be worried about, oh gosh, all of this nonsense, because I don't know if we can go into any of these pipes. Not yet, not yet, but I'm pretty sure there will be at least one that we can go in. Is it this one? Oh, it is! Will this be? Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is where the uh, third star coin is. Yep, right here. So you could just jump off and land on that Koopa if you needed to, but since we have the propeller cap, that is pretty useful. We still have the propeller cap from the final boss of last episode, so that's been pretty helpful. Now let's just try to survive, because you might have noticed that there's no checkpoint on this level. I don't think there's going to be one. We just gotta survive till the end. And I'm pretty sure that's a common theme with a lot of these levels is that they don't have checkpoints, so there we go. There's that done. So there's our first level of World 9. Not too bad, to be honest with you, especially with the propeller cap. It makes it a ton easier. So that's my big suggestion. If you're having a hard time with that level, propeller cap is gonna be your main power up to worry about. And there's a toad in World 9, 8. Okay, usually toads don't pop up until you complete it all. Weird. Okay, whatever. 9-2, I'm pretty sure this is a tough one. I might be saying that for like every level though. <laughs> okay, actually, I don't know. I don't remember this one too much. It might not be so bad. Can I go in this pipe? I cannot. I will have to be careful because this guy's not gonna be fun to deal with. I'm tempted to get a like a fire flower or ice flower or whatever will give me, oh, you know what? I remember this one. So there is a new mechanic going on in this level, sort of, kind of. We've had platforms where we stand on them and they'll go up or down, but none that look exactly like these ones. Okay, we got a Koopa that we can get like this. Oh boy, leave me alone, Mr. Fish. We can get a couple power-ups that way. Don't exactly need any of it, but it's nice to know it's there. Oh yeah, I do remember this. So if we wanna go down this way, we have to w wait for this to sort of line up with the pipe and then go in. Oh, and it's just this. Okay, this might be a bit scary though with that big old fish trying to eat, eat us. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, I did it, I did it. Keep moving, keep moving. Big fish is trying to eat you a lot in this level. It's not fun. But maybe if we well time a, there we go, well time a Koopa shell, we can get something nice. Uh, I might wanna try to go into that pipe if I can. I don't know if it's necessary though. I might wanna try to wait for you. You're gonna pop out of the pipe and then you're gonna retract and then I'm gonna try to go up and then there's a giant fish trying to eat me now. I don't like it. Can we get another Koopa shell? Oh boy, that might work. Oh, look at that, perfect timing. We're on a roll so far today. There's no star coin up here. I'm pretty sure I remember where the last star coin is, but I also am pretty sure I remember it being tough. I think it has something to do with all of this. So I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to hold a Koopa shell for too long or I'll end up uh, getting hurt. Oh gosh, oh no, oh, what, what happened? I fell, I was tr pressing the A button, but I guess I wasn't pressing it enough. Oh no, that's really bad. <laughs> I gotta do it all again. We were doing so well too. Okay, so I'm doing all right. Well, now this is gonna get risky. Oh boy, oh boy. I went right under him there. That was really scary, I don't like it. So what is this power up gonna be? It's gonna be another ice flower, which I don't really need because ice flowers don't really have much of a use against this guy. So they really do give you the uh, worst possible power up. Oh, I know what I gotta do here. Okay, so I gotta stand right like this. Got it. 
got it. Yes, okay, so now that we've done that part, I just need to dodge you, and then duck under, and then duck under again, and then, oh, oh, got it, okay. Jeez, run out of here. I don't even care if I get hit, as, least, as long as it's not too much. Oh, okay, so you can freeze them, but just for a moment, get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's insanity. But we did it, nine to de definitely a difficult level. We survived, we made it through. And now we can do the next one. It's just gonna be difficult level after difficult level, slowly ramping up. 9-3. Now it's either 9-3 or 9-4 that I know is really, really difficult. Oh, it's this one. So this is, of course, a, a level based off of World Ow, uh, <laughs> World 7. The previous level was based off of World 3 with the uh, beach level. Or is that World 4? No, that's World 3, I think. Oh, I'm forgetting. <laughs> Anyways, bounce off of you, bounce off of you, bounce off of you. Can we get some one-ups here? We probably should, but it adds yet another new mechanic, which is the homing bullet bills. And they are not fun to deal with, I tell you what. I think this is yet another level that would be really helpful with a propeller cap. Unfortunately, they are not interested in giving you one. The, oh gosh. You know what would be really nice here is probably having this power block. Oh geez. You know what? <laughs> I just wanna get out of here. I don't know, right here maybe? No, that wasn't right. I don't know if that was supposed to get me a star coin or something. I really hope not, because I really don't like those ones. I do see this pipe down this way. This should be something. Uh, It is indeed a star coin. Oh, I only have so much time to do this as well. I think it's this way. It's a bit of a maze. We've had you know, a little star coin like this in New Super Bros. DS, but it wasn't timed. This one is. And then we can just go through this pipe and it launches back up. That was the first star coin. So luckily enough, I haven't missed anything yet. But if I remember correctly, there is a really difficult section to this level that I'm not going to enjoy doing. We'll, we'll get there, all right. Does any of this have the propeller cap? Can you get out of here? Thank you. That's another ice flower. They really like giving you a lot of ice flowers. Oh, now I remember. We have, I guess they're homing bullet bills, or bonsai bills, as you can see. Okay, so we need a bonsai bill over this way if one can show up. Okay, you're gonna show up this way. Uh, not really what I was looking for, to be honest with you. Okay, so one of these guys would be helpful. Thank you. Oh, where did we miss one? Hold up. Where is this other star coin? Oh gosh, we're gonna have to do this again uh, because I'm way too far out this way to go back. Oh great, I don't like it. It definitely had something to do with that pal block. It had to. I don't trust it. Oh gosh, oh, I don't like this at all. Come on, can we just get to the end of this level? Cash in the star coins that we have that were pretty gosh darn difficult, that'd be good. Okay, we made it. So this is gonna shoot some more. Oh, get out of here with that. I don't even want your one up, I don't need it. I'm definitely gonna get at least a mushroom before we head back into that level to try to find that star coin. Wherever could it be? I'm guessing it has to be the pow block, probably over a pit or something ridiculous. So, give me a mushroom and let's head back in. I don't know if we'll have enough power-ups to last us through everything, but I, I sure hope so. We'll have to wait and see. So yeah, let's take a good look for this thing. I mean, maybe it's just between wherever the pipe spits you back out and where you entered it. That can always happen. Actually, it happens quite often. But I'm going to take that power block just in case. After I deal with some of these bullet pills and Koopas and anything else that might be in my life. Jeez, it just, it never ends. Never ever ends. So I mean, I don't really see too much of a use for this pal block. There's the pipe. Oh, maybe it's just up here. Okay. Probably, because this is a pipe I definitely haven't entered. Okay, okay, I got up. Cool. So if I just moved slightly to the left, I would have gotten this. Okay, well, out of, you know, like if I left the pipe for the first star coin, I could have just gone and gotten this, probably. I'm hoping this is the star coin, it has to be, right? Run across all of these, jump. Got it, got it, got it, jump again, jump another time, and there it is, that's a fun one. I really like these ones where you have to do these like crazy platforming feats. I wish they were more like that. Okay, so now we have the hard part again. I'm gonna try to make my way through it a little bit more quickly, but at the same time, I probably shouldn't be reckless. Once again, there are no checkpoints for these levels, so if bad things happen, I just sort of have to uh, do it all again. Okay, I got to this platform, hop off of that, go like this, oh, that was so close. Come on, last jump, I can make it just like that. Oh, we somehow did that. I don't know how I did, but I did. 
Okay, we're gonna jump off of you and just totally ignore the other dude. We made it! We got through World 9-3. That's definitely one of the more difficult ones. Took two tries, but that's okay. They're gonna take a couple tries. I'm still really dreading. I think it's 9-7 is definitely gonna be the most difficult one. But 9-4, that's what we have to worry about right now. Hopefully this one won't be too bad. I can't remember. Oh no, this one. What, what, what happened there? I accidentally pressed down. That was awkward. <laughs> that's one way to lose a life. Get the mushroom again. I did not mean to do that, I promise. This one's not fun. It's an auto-scrolling level, which really just sums up how awful it can be. I remember being stuck on this one for maybe even like hours. I wouldn't say this is the most difficult one because I don't know, I just don't think it is, but it definitely can get pretty close to it. Can I pick you up to get rid of this guy in the ice block? Yes, I can. I can throw you that way. It can sometimes just be quite the challenge. Okay, so we got our life back. Too bad I somehow really messed that up. The most difficult star coin in the game, at least in my opinion, is in World 9-7. So that's what makes it such a treacherous level. But, oh boy. Oh ho ho ho, be careful. There we go, got rid of him. But this level, overall, from beginning to end, is just a tough level. So we wanna grab this power block, but try to time it so it gets rid of all these bob bombs while these prana plants are sort of lighting up the bob bombs, or at least as many as I can possibly, oh my gosh, that was just me being bad. And then get up here and get star coin numero, numero uno. I was gonna say numero, I was like, that's not correct. <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot of pipes going around here. And obviously this one is supposed to be in some way inspired by World 2. I mean, it, it inspires the difficulty of World 2, but honestly, there aren't really many pipe-inspired levels in World 2. So here's the tough part, and this is probably where the second most difficult star coin in the game pops up, is that these only go down when there's at least two units on them. So try to juggle that, it gets really difficult soon enough, especially when there's a star coin we need to get. Is this the one I'm thinking of? I don't think it is. This one's tough, but not as tough as some of the other ones, I think, or one of the other ones. Or maybe it is this one, oh gosh. Because we need to get this, and then... There we go, we somehow did that on the first try. I am very impressed. We still got more to go, though. Got that power up, getting rid of you as soon as possible would be great. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I'm gonna pick up this. Uh, do I need this for a star coin? I might. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so we gotta like, wait for these two bob bombs to sort of do their thing. And I'm gonna try, oh, do I? Oh, okay, I do remember what I gotta do here. First off, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I need this to go back up. I need this to go back up because I need you. I remember what we gotta do. I remember, I remember. Wait, no, that is so not fair. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. We're supposed to freeze that piranha plant and then we're supposed to hop on top of them and go in that pipe. I'm almost positive that's what we have to do. That is such an awful star coin. Okay, good, okay, there we go, we got it. Oh my gosh, that is such a ridiculously difficult star coin because you have to keep your ice power there, you won't be able to do it, but also the bob bombs are shooting you overhead so you can't rush it, but if you hit him with the ice ball and you take too much time, you can break out of the ice, it's just like there's so many factors it makes for a very ridiculous situation and I do not like it. But we survived it which is awesome, and that also means we can move up here to world 9-5 and do the next one. I am just still flabbergasted on how difficult that is. It's just insanity. It helps you end a level a little earlier. Oh, I remember this one. I don't think this one's so bad. I think it's a, a, pretty fun. I think there's one star coin in it you practically cannot get though without a propeller cap, and the level doesn't give it to you for no reason, which is a, a weird problem this world has. And I think that this game has it from time to time as well, where it's like, okay, we have this star coin for you, but there's literally no way you can feasibly get it without just having a power up from another level. Like, I don't think that's really fun design. I think that's usually just annoying to have to play the same level twice. Not because you maybe failed at getting the power up in the level by just not playing well enough, but it was never in the level in the first place. Now I'm sure, oh, come on. Did we just, did we just miss out on that star coin already? Okay, this is not a good start. That darn penguin was in the way. I'm just gonna let this guy take me out so that we can try all that again. Okay, gonna try to be careful because apparently just silly stuff can happen. Okay, so we just need to belly slide. 
Oh, I guess it doesn't really work. Thought that would take him out, but not really. Oh boy, the penguins are just such a pain in the butt, even with the penguin suit. You'd think it would just make it much easier, but not quite. I just gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa, dude, I wasn't expecting that. What does this button do? Probably just gives us a platform right there. Is it permanent? I think so, there's no timer noise. Oh boy, oh, he's following me. <laughs> Why would I need that if I could just wall jump up? Oh gosh, uh, maybe because of that. Ready, set. Oh, come on, that's so awkward, I don't like it. There we go, see, that wasn't so bad. Okay, uh, these guys are just bouncing between each other right now, it's a total mess. So upcoming is the really difficult star coin that I actually, I don't know if it's even possible to get without a propeller cap, so let's make sure we check around. That's just a penguin soon. So let's check this out, see what I can do. I'm pretty sure it's up and around here. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. First off, let's get some of these blocks, uh, this, can I duck under this? I sure hope so. But that didn't do too much for me. Okay, now I'm up here. And now I'm up this way. Oh man, I don't entirely remember this. Oh, you know what? Is it right there? So yeah, this is where it gets really weird and I don't really get it. Well, like, clearly I can jump on one of these blocks and then I can, but how are you supposed to make a jump at that angle? That's the part that makes no sense. Okay, you know what? Maybe these red coins can help me out. Now that I'm just normal Mario, oh my gosh. Too bad, ice physics are awful all the time. I'm not gonna be able to do this, am I? No, of course not. Ah, oh, this level, it's not as bad, or not as bad as in terms of difficulty, as some of the other levels, but man, is it a headache, no matter what. What if I freeze you? Oh! Yeah, what if I freeze you? Okay, now you're frozen, let's hope you stay. Oh, I think he just broke his frozenness. Not quite yet, but his friend did. So they do break in their frozenness. They don't just last that way forever. It's not an easy thing to throw. You can't sail ne next to the big one either. Um, There it is. Can I land on it? I can, no, I just slipped off. Oh, that is, and now I don't have a ice Mario. This is an awful star coin. I, I do implore that instead of doing this, you just go whatever and you get, because I, I can't do it now. I don't have any other frozen Marios. That's really, really dumb. I, I, I implore that you just go and get a propeller cap and save yourself a headache. So it is possible. I never actually knew that that was actually how you did that. I am not doing it that way. I'd rather save myself an hour of trial and error and just go ahead and just do a propeller cap. So that's exactly what I'll do if I don't die here. Oh my gosh. I am really bad at this game. So another predicament was actually getting to this point in the level with the propeller cap, but I was able to do it just barely. No, we just hop down and do that. I do not like it one bit, but that's that's all we had to do. Now we can actually complete the level and hopefully not totally fail and fall flat on our face right at the end. I think we'll be fine. This time I got the propeller cap, so if I make a silly mistake like I did before, it should be fine. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Jump, jump, jump. Yeah, got it. Okay, so go ahead and get that one up and we are good. We are getting out of here. That level is not fun to deal with. But we are more than halfway through them all, which is great. We're at 9.5 now. Now we just have 9.6, 9.7, and 9.8. We're actually making some decent time. After you cut out all the fails, I'm sure this episode might not be too long. But 9.6 shouldn't be too bad, right? I think this one's not so bad to prepare us. Oh, no, actually, this one's pretty difficult. This is, of course, based off of world. Oh, yeah, world three is the ice world. So that's what I was getting mixed up before. But uh, last, the last level was based off of world three. Uh, this level is obviously based off of world eight. And there are just constant platforms dipping in and out of the lava. Propeller cap makes this one a bit of a breeze as well. But it can still be a bit of a challenge because there'll just be gaps of land that are a little bit more difficult than you can manage to just propel our cap over. If I needed coins, I'd go ahead and grab some of those, but I do not. For now, I'm just gonna try to survive against this jerk, because he's surely gonna make things more difficult for me, and those, I was not expecting those to turn into the coins for whatever reason, I should've. And here's a little bit of a tough one, but as long as we uh, have the propeller cap, once again, it's quite easy. This level can be a bit of a challenge, but as long as he has some propeller caps left over, and I, I know I have completed a lot of these levels without power-ups going into them. I just prefer not to do that today. Uh, well, I gotta do it now. <laughs> I'll play through the level again with you guys along for the ride, just because I feel like it is a much different level without the propeller cap that maybe we should check it out like that. 
for this one specifically, it could be worthwhile. Next level though, mm, I don't care what we have to do just to get it done. If that's a propeller cap, if that's anything else. But this is a bit of a problem because you have to sort of follow the platforms in a weird way. And once again, lava, one hit takedown. So if we make any kind of mistake, it's gonna be game over. I'll have to try it again. But luckily, the first two star coins really aren't that bad. I think the third one's tough, but I can't remember. I think that's one of the ones I'm like, just whatever, get a, get a propeller cap. So it was perfect timing. We died where, where we did. And it was like 100% my own fault. Okay, yeah, dodge all of that. And then we just gotta wait for this lava pillar, fire pillar, whatever it is, and try to ignore this guy as much as possible. Did those head towards me? Come on, that's not cool. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that any more than I have to. Okay, so there is a red coin thing over this way. Ooh, that was really easy. But oh no, what, what happened? I pressed the jump button as much as pressing the jump button you can do. I don't understand. Okay, there we go. Much better. <laughs> I am not good at this game. Okay, so we have another fire flower. Oh boy. Just in case I need it. This is where things get a little scary because this thing's gonna fall down like that and then I'm trying to just be ready for it. It is not easy to time and I'm just sort of getting lucky. Okay, so this is another one that's a little weird and that's just a much easier task when you have the propeller cap. Getting it isn't too bad. Going back? That's another story. Ah, uh, that's exactly what I mean. Oh, ho, ho, not a bad jump there. Now it's just trying to make our way back. I need to jump right when it's at its high point so we can do that and then do this. Like I said, if you're having a hard time with it, propeller cap is your answer really, or playing with multiple players. That's sort of, honestly, if you're looking for an easier way to get every star coin in the game, multiple players is almost always the answer. That way you can sort of both get power ups, you both can have a couple tries at it. That's usually the best answer. That's why some of these feel so hard in single players. I feel like they were made so that they weren't just all super easy in multiplayer. Anyways, I am not looking forward to this level. World 9-7, based off of World 5, it is the frozen jungle. So it's a little bit of a mishmash, but you might see that everything, ow, has frozen blocks around it. And to add to the madness, we also have fire spitting piranha plants. So what do you know? They're gonna be melting the blocks for us, which is not good because all of the ground are these little guys, which are actually returned from Super Mario World and we don't see them anywhere else in the game. So another thing in World 9, that must've just been like a scrapped idea. Can I just get up here, please? Thank you. And then we have these things right here, which are little Goombas and little eggs, nests. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Oh gosh, please stop. <laughs> and just every time I throw one of these fireballs, the level gets a little bit more difficult. But I sort of have to do it because of the enemies that are everywhere. So it's just like, pick your poison. So I don't know why there's so many different like weird little ideas with this level that were never approached in the actual game too much, but I sort of like it. So this is where things get really scary because we need to get this star coin, right? And that was such a dumb idea because I just destroyed so much of my own platform. What I should have done there is I, I should have faced the right of it. Come on, Mario, stop! And now we have to do that again because, what? That, fi that fire bro fell off his platform. I've never seen that happen before. That makes this moderately easier, but also not because we need to hop down there, but also make sure that we survive for long enough so that we can get back up. So it's just like, uh, why? Why is it that bad? I'm gonna go ahead and get, I don't know. I mean, I could just go ahead and start with the star. Let's try that. Let's start with the star and also a fire flower. This might be a really bad idea, but it also might be great. We'll have to see. And I gotta make sure for that second star coin, I need to face to the left of the star coin. Or it's to the right of the star coin, but the star coin is to our left. Okay, look at how nice this is. Uh, looks like we still slide on ice when we're in star power, but it at least helps us get through the part of the level we already survived. We know we can do this, ow. And then I get hit with that, which actually might be a problem because if I don't get another fire flower soon. Wow, wow, Mario, what do you do? I don't want you to wall jump. I want you to proceed forward like you have done the entire game. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna go ahead and move this way. 
plop down like that. That is so much smarter. So what we're gonna do here is this ducking cover. Yeah, we did it, we did it, okay. Great stuff. So I don't know what caused this guy to fall off his platform like that. I've never seen that happen before. But if we could, yes, no, maybe. Come on, get rid of this jerk. Okay, he's made this so much more difficult. But somehow we were able to get rid of both fire bros. No, stop with this ice physics madness. I don't like it anymore. We're getting out of here. I don't know how that took me as few tries as it did. But man, that is usually something that takes me forever. That is by far the hardest level in the game. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, I would love to hear your opinions on what the hardest level in the game is, in your opinion. But for me, I think that is by far the hardest level. Okay, so 9-8 is actually a bit of a breeze. I'm gonna let us just sort of hop into it normally and see how things go. Maybe we'll save our first toad ever in this entire adventure. I'll be showcasing that a little bit more in the bonus episode uh, that comes up next episode. What do you know? But this is, in all technicality, the final level in the game. I think the toad is in here, but honestly, I think he's gonna be a little bit difficult to handle right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let him do his own thing. And for whatever reason, there's Waluigi symbols in this level for no reason. You know, that might be hinting something. Oh, maybe there's a game with Waluigi coming up. No, never happened. I don't know if they were planning something, but I don't think, like this was another one that had a Waluigi symbol, unless it's supposed to not be. Maybe I'm being a total dingus, it's not supposed to be a Waluigi symbol, and instead it's supposed to be in the shape of a coin? You know what, that might make a lot more sense. Anyways, I'm really messing this up. All I gotta do is get some mushrooms and then hit another block, and I should be able to get it from Power Cap, but I might be able to get one here. Oh, lucky me, sort of, kind of. Getting it might be a bit of a difficult situation. I'm not gonna be able to get that, am I? Oh, uh, nope, not happening. Goodbye, oh, that stinks. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be an easy level and somehow I'm making it difficult so far. But we got all these guys bouncing around as you've probably been able to notice. Oh, come on, no. And it's an auto-scrolling level, which is probably its only point of difficulty is the auto-scrolling part. But things get a little crazy here in a moment. Obviously a bit inspired by World 7 with his sky kind of things going on. Go ahead and get that. Oh, it's a mini Mario mushroom. Is that really gonna be worth my while? I don't know why it gives you this. But that has to be, oh look, it's in the shape of a bullet bill. I wonder why that could be, oh my gosh, giant bullet bill, you can't land on him. Well, I don't know why I tried that. <laughs> I really don't know why I tried that. Oh no, I can't believe I died on this level, I'm the worst. I'm like saying, oh these levels are so tough, this is the easy one. And then I like totally fail on it. It's the last level of the game. I can go ahead and use a propeller cap. We didn't save that toad, so the toad went away. Oh gosh, try this again. B, I'm thinking that maybe I was a total dingus and it's supposed to sort of be in the symbol of a coin, not Waluigi. Because if you look at it, it's supposed to be like the indentation in the center of the coin. <laughs> but so you know what? I've made my own little lore now. I'm gonna pretend it's a Waluigi symbol. I guess if I had one more coin on the uh, the smaller part of the L, it would make a lot more sense, but I'm the full of nonsense, aren't I? Oh gosh, I don't like the mini Mario jumping around. That's literally the sole purpose of that thing is just to make this more difficult for no reason except for to make the level more difficult. So I'm trying to avoid that while also be ready for whatever propeller cap might show up next. I think it'll be, well first off we get another one up which I guess is okay. But I think this one should have, no that's a mini Mario. Stop it with that, I don't need a mini Mario. I need the opposite, I need big Mario and a propeller cap. Come on, keep moving this way. Don't get hit by these guys. Don't get hit by them. Come on, where is the propeller cap at? Oh, can I get that? That was a pretty easy way to get that star coin. I like it. Keep moving. I gotta survive with what I got. Don't make this too difficult for myself. Just keep going. So we know that we can't land on those giant bullet bills. They're bigger than bonsai bills, but they also look a little bit more smiley than them. Okay, what, what, what? Okay, there it is. I just need to actually get to it. Yeah, we got it! So let's just stay up here for now if we can. Just like that, excuse me, mister. <laughs> he, he, there's nothing stopping him, that's for sure. Oh, we got, got another one. So I guess wherever the queens are, oh, come on, I'm so bad. Jeez, <laughs> we gotta just pay attention to the coins and maybe we'll turn out okay. So I need to bounce off of all of that. Uh, Miss this one and a couple others. Oh, I am really bad at this game. Propeller cap, propeller cap and not a good spot. That's for sure. Okay, 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 be careful. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. Can we hit this? That'll just be another mini Mario. What about this one? There's a propeller cap. I'm gonna hold on to it until I need it. Oh, he's coming in from the left side now. 
I think that's the case. This gets really ridiculous, but it's not supposed to be all that difficult. I'm just making it difficult because I'm bad. Okay, ooh, look at that. Okay, so it's actually trying to tell me where the next bullet bill will be. It sort of sneaks it in there. But let me try to end the level before it gets here, boop. <laughs> See ya, dude. And there we have it. Every single level in the game completed with every single star coin. Oh my gosh. That was quite the journey now, wasn't it? And as you might be able to see, yeah! Yahoo! You found all the star coins in world nine. You've now collected all the star coins in every world. Awesome, awesome stuff. So if we wanted to confirm that for ourselves, we can ch check the uh, star coin little menu. All of them roll nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So that means that in the next episode, the final bonus episode, we will be going ahead and uh, finishing everything off. We're not exactly at full 100% completion just yet because I got to check out all of the cannons, which I like to do in the bonus episodes. So let's go back to the title screen to showcase one thing. And that is the uh, the star completion. So as you can see, we now have four shiny stars for getting every star coin, which means we need one more left, and that's just for getting all of the exits or the entrances and everything in the game. So stay tuned for that. That'll be not so long from now. We'll go ahead and have one last bonus episode. But with all of that being said and done, Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Star so I know you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.